You're listening to The Bottom Line with Jim and Lissa Walsh on URL Radio. We're back. We're back. Hello. And I'm so excited. Uh, <laughs> I'm so excited. I, I feel a sneeze coming on. Hang on. Yeah, lost it. Lost so it. excited. Woo. Oh, boy. What a crazy uh, couple of weeks. Yeah. Christmas, are- New Year's, yeah, and now we're back. Oh, by the way, uh, something I have to say here. Okay. Uh, we talked about this. Oh, everybody's been talking about this for a couple of days. Yes. And I just want to set Ever the record the straight weekend, here. Yeah. Uh, there's a Betty White story going around mm-hmm. that we want to debunk. Okay. Uh, her un- her untimely passing, if you want to call it that, was not due to getting the wrong kind of COVID shot. It was not due to a no. complication no. from the COVID vaccination. Will you people get over that crap and move on? Yeah. No, Betty was, no. well, she was 99, she you know. Was it was her um, people in her camp, people yes. who were her managers and stuff, they said she had actually been kind of going downhill for a while. Yeah. You know, at some point, the body just gives out. Yeah, it natural says, causes. That's it. We're done. Yeah. And, and I can't do it anymore. And that's what happened to her. And I've just uh, had enough of people trying to make a stupid political, political thing out of everything. About it. I know. Yeah. And and Betty Betty White was such a wonderful human being. She was a mensch. She was wonderful. Aye. She was she was she was wonderful. She was great. She was the the first woman in Hollywood to be in charge of her own television Can show. Can a lady be a mensch? I'm not sure. I thought a mensch was a man. Anyway, uh, anyway, but she was the first. She was the first woman to be in charge of her own show. She was the first woman to, um, to actually bring comedic talent, yeah. honestly, uh, into our home. She started on the radio, yeah, and, and then she went into television, and just a wonderful and a wonderful person. She yeah. loved animals. She said that uh, she had to work in Hollywood to make enough money to take right. care of her animals, yeah. <laughs> to take care of the animal association yeah. that she had. And we're animal people. We are animal people. And, you know, the love of her life, yeah. Alan Ludden. Alan Ludden. Uh, who was it? Uh, what's his face from uh, the actor studio? Oh, James, uh, what's his name? Lipton. Lipton. Yeah, he asked her, he said, so he said, you're at the pearly gates, and what's the first thing do you think you're going to hear? And she says, I'm going to hear God say, Betty. Here's Alan. Alan's right here for you. Oh, okay. Yeah, Great. Alan's here for you. And and that's it, because that's who yeah. she'd, she'd want to see. Yeah. Now, we have to get back to our story oh, at hand do. here. Yeah. Uh, it's another exciting edition of Am I the Asshole? Yeah, the Asshole on the bottom line with yeah. Melissa. Okay, to recap very quickly, this guy, he was friends with his neighbor. The neighbor was a really old guy. 80 years old. And they had a falling out because the younger guy got a dog, and the older guy claims that the dog is is keeping him up all hours of the day. Barking. Yeah, I know. Uh, well, yeah. the, the the neighbor just didn't like the dog barking. Yeah, didn't like him barking. He didn't keep him up all hours of the day. It was only during the daytime. Yeah, well, maybe. And he got it under control. Well, if he's an old man, he probably does sleep all day. He I might. do. He might. I'm not that old. He might. But uh, anyway, old. the old guy told the young guy, he says, we're not friends anymore. Just leave me alone. It's just, just we're neighbors. That's it. You know, you, do, you go your way, I'll go mine. And, and then the first big snow of the season came along, and the old guy expected him to... Clear out his driveway. Clear out like the driveway, he which he had been doing for yeah, years and happily, years and years. Yeah, all the time. For free. For free. And the guy said, no, we're not friends anymore. Uh, you made that very clear. So, uh, you know, you get somebody else or, or I'll do it for you for $200. And the and the neighbor got pissed. Yeah. Yeah. And so he went, the young guy wanted to know, is he the asshole? Right. Well, you know, in these Reddit articles, and I am going to put this on the uh, bottom line Facebook page. Yes. If you're searching for the Facebook page, it's capital T, small H-E. Capital B, small O-T-T. Bottom. O-M. And capital L, small H-E. I N E. Did I spell Line. that right? Okay. Yeah. And it has the picture. It has that picture that Stacy puts on URL with the the wonderful character drawing by yeah. Austin Schmaltz, who yeah. is the arts teacher at Century High School. Cartoony renderings of yeah, us. Really cool. Yes. Anyway, so some some said the neighbor asked for it when he said he didn't want to be friendly anymore. Well, that's what I said. I, uh, one person said, uh, you told me our relationship was no longer friendly, so I made a note not to do friendly things for you anymore. Mm-hmm. If you would like a service done, you can pay for that service. 
Another person said, though, my husband would always plow our elderly neighbor's sidewalk and driveway when he was alive. The family was always very appreciative. Now, I don't know what that had to do with anything, but that's what they said. Well, I don't know what the family situation is, if he lives with his family, uh, the old guy, or, or, or what. I don't know either. Yeah. yeah. Now, uh, we do, uh, we do kind of, there is kind of a legal thing, possibly, here. Yeah. Because. A legal consideration. Yeah, legal consideration, because if he's been doing it. Uh, can the old guy reasonably expect him to keep doing it? No. And what if there's a problem? And he's an old guy, if he has a heart attack or something, and the ambulance can't get in to see him because it's plowed. Then the old guy is going to be responsible. And the HOA All right. should have been sure, should have made sure that it would get done. And if it didn't get done, it's like, it's like we live yeah. in an apartment building and we need to clear off our patio area and in front of our garage, but yeah. everything else gets done by the snowplow. Okay. But if we don't clear off those areas, we get fined. I don't know. It. I can I can imagine somebody making a big stink about that. The fact that hey, you were doing this for this guy, and you didn't, and now he died. But that's the question. Is, yeah. Did he sign a contract? What no. would Judge Judy say? Judge Judy <laughs> would probably say no. There's no contract. Judge was, Judy was probably like the old guy in the house. He was doing it out of the goodness of his heart. Yeah. But you know that was it. Yeah. You know he he's not expected to do it. Yeah. The the person who lives in the house would be responsible for removing the snow. Yeah. Somebody else says here. Being old doesn't mean you're allowed to be nasty. That's true. Yeah. That's very true. Now, we're assuming that there's not an uh, like an Alzheimer's issue, and we're not making a joke about that. Right. We're just assuming that's the case here, that, you know, he's just old and cranky, yes. Yes, A lot of people yeah. do. Yeah, a lot of people are. Oh, this is good. If anything, he's had more time to mature and learn how to handle things without being a huge dick. <laughs> okay. He should be held to a higher standard than someone in their 20s in regards to behavior and civility. Do you believe that? I like that. I like that. Now, yeah. that's an interesting point. I can't imagine him demanding we do it. That's nuts. Yeah, ex exact. Oh, here's a good one. Seriously, okay. I'm sick of people letting older people get away with rude and disrespectful behavior. Yes. Just because of age. Yes. An asshole is an asshole regardless of any other factors. It's like when they get some really old actor on TV and the guy's a total butthead. Yeah. You know, not like Betty White. No. But, you know, for every Betty White, you get, like, a Catherine Hepburn, and she mm -hmm. was just horrible in her old age. Oh, yeah. And everybody just basically let it slide because she was the great actress, Catherine right, Hepburn. Yeah. And I'm sitting there going, hey, I don't have to put up with this crap. And, no, you shouldn't have Screw to. you, Grandma. You know, I mean, look, <laughs> it's one thing when it's your family. Yeah. Right? It's one thing when it's your family. That's right. But if it's your, if it's not your family. And it's not a big movie star. And, yeah, it's it, I don't think you should have to put up with that crap. I really, love that, Debbie. <laughs> you I did too. I love that. that. That's I awesome. I love it. That was good. Yes. Alrighty. Some of the comments are great. Yeah. Like I say, I'm going to be posting them on the, the bottom line Facebook page. Oh, there was one guy here who kind of took the young guy's side, and he himself is uh, 75 years old. Ah. And he said, I can't imagine him demanding that people do it. That's yes, nuts. That is nuts. Yeah, you don't demand him. that people do anything. Well, you do You do your Abraham S Simpson old man. Uh, Kids, get Grandpa off my Simpson. lawn. Grandpa Simpson. Grandpa Simpson, yeah. Get off my lawn. Yeah, I'm, There's I'm snow old. on my lawn. Get off it anyway. I'm old and the world owes me a living. That's right. Yeah. There are people out there that really feel that way. That These are the old guys people, you yeah. see running into the uh, Social Security office going, Gimme, gimme, gimme! <laughs> I love that when he does that. I just love it. Okay. All right. So we've got only a couple of minutes we left. we got about a so minute to go. Let's bottom line it here. Jim, what do you say? Uh, give it, being old, boy, I, I can't. Bleh. It's okay. Uh, too much coffee. We'll do that. Uh, being old does not give you a license to be a butthead. That's right. You got to be civil with people. And if you want the guy to help you with your drive, that's okay. But, you know, try to make your peace with the guy. You should try to make your peace with the guy anyway, just because it's the right thing to do. You don't want to, you know, live out your life, you know, hating the guy next door for something stupid like that. Well, that's true. Yeah. I mean, you're going to feel a lot better in life if you let go of the angst and the anger and yeah. the crap and, you know, forgive people or realize yeah. that you're being an asshole yeah. and make amends for that and apologize. But Holding gotta, a grudge is not healthy. No, it's not. It's, it's terrible. Not, yeah. yeah. You got to forgive people. I mean, yeah. when, when somebody hurts you, yeah. A, did they mean to? 
Because there are times we step on each other's toes oh, all yeah. the time. Jim and I literally step on each other's toes as we're walking past yeah. each other. Or we'll hurt each other's feelings we won't mean to. Yeah, it happens. Or we'll get mad and we'll say something we don't mean. Right. You know, and then we come back later, we apologize. Right. And, and we realize we do. that we were being human beings. And, yeah. you know, basically, uh, you know, we... we I say that I'm wrong, and and, and everything's okay. And I say okay. that I'm wrong. Yeah, yeah. I, I say I'm wrong. I hope I admit <laughs> it. I'm wrong, and I'm sorry. Oh, okay. Anyway, yeah, my we're bottom, done. My bottom line. No, it's my bottom line. Well, go you ahead. Talk too much. I'm wrong. My bottom line is not the asshole. Um, I don't think that no. guy was. I think that guy. Well, he didn't think about it, but I think he probably should have told him. Now, remember. Yeah. You know, I snow plow your driveway i'm not going to be doing that anymore yeah not but for free. except for that no I'd, I'd say he's not the asshole okay we're good to go and yeah. we want to wish everybody a happy new year and good luck with the weather and all that yeah this week we're going to see you again thursday at 11 o'clock on your radio.net and i'll let you know what we're going to talk about then but in the meantime thank you for tuning in and have a great day bye bye <laughs>